Well, that's a pretty solar shed. Painted the roof a nice uh, robin's egg blue on a reclaimed uh, steel roofing. We, there's our uh, big magnesine magnum. Um, it's our uh, solar controller. The uh, it's everything really. There's the uh, at the back. Of this the midnight charge controller. The top is the magnesine um, in, in, uh, inverter, <laughs> um, and then uh, all the rest of the stuff that needs to go with it. And there's our uh, eight six volt batteries that will give us 24 volts of power when wired in series. We just got these panels or these uh, this piece of <laughs> standard plywood costs uh, 73 dollars in Halifax. It was 80 no, sorry, 74 in Halifax. It was 83 if we bought it anywhere else. But we needed a lot more things, so we went to Halifax Home Depot and got lucky and saved some money on the wood. We uh, insulated our, sh our uh, powerhouse solar shed. We are going to put OSB on the ceiling, the rest of the walls, because they were only, I think, $25 or less than $25 a sheet. So that was pretty good because last fall, I think we paid 50 something for a stupid sheet of OSB. So we got enough to cover the walls and the roof. We got another bag of insulation. The insulation is Really weird. It smells like like burnt sugar. Never experienced that with insulation before. And it's the uh, Pink Panther fiberglass pink. So um, from Dow. I think if I'd had a house and I was putting it up, I'd be taking it back. But for just a shed, it's fine. We will probably stain the walls. We picked up a maroon color, uh, solid stain, um, yesterday, nine bucks a gallon, and it's the shed, so it really doesn't matter what color it is, you just want to protect it. We will be staining the decorative pieces and the gable ends that we did last week. Just need to close up these ends as well. We also got our drip edge. Brian's gonna put under under the roofing there on the edge. And that'll get finished. We're just gonna stain the rest of that with the red cedar color. So yeah, those are OSB sheets. I think there's seven sixteenths, I remember. Oh, well, that's where we're at. So this is our 40 foot trench. Almost dug. Two and a half feet deep. A few big boulders in the way. I had to kind of go around. And uh, they're not moving. And let's go into our powerhouse, solar shed. <laughs> and then we're going to bury it halfway and then put that caution tape in there that has a metal strip on it so that if somebody ever has a metal detector and needs to know where the lines are, if they dig, it'll only be oh, about, I don't know, a foot un under the dirt and it should be detected. So, there 
is we Brian dug it out with the first he started with the tractor with one fork sticking out the front like one tooth <laughs> and uh, so that was he loosened it all up with that or a lot of it <laughs> and then he got the bucket on the tractor and cleaned it out with the truck with the uh, bucket and then and then he's been working with the shovel and uh, long what's it called pry bar wrong long pry bar diggy thing <laughs> and the pickaxe so. and then you have to clean it all out now with the shovel because the uh, bucket just doesn't really get deep enough so it's a it's going to be 40 foot trench two and a half feet deep put conduit lay conduit down and then we'll pull our wire through there who needs a mini excavator who needs a mini excavator <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's evening, the sun's going down, and we are going to turn things on. So let's turn on the battery. It's 634, so we'll set the clock. 6. No, back 6. 6. Go the other way. Let's go with 35. PM. Done. Okay. Now we're going to go over. And turn on the panels. Flip switch. Oh. Doesn't even make a noise. Oh, there. That's on. <laughs> and then come back into power house. And we will turn on the solar panels and the midnight by control panel is turning on there we go it's resting Eight, 15 seconds resting. <laughs> I don't quite know what that means yet but it's exciting and nothing blew up so I guess we're good looks like we might need a battery in there that's funny <sighs> oh that means I probably have to set all that again that's okay so now here we go we want to turn on the AC out for AC input. Generator. That's for the generator, so we don't need to turn that on. And now we're going to turn on this 15 amp breaker. And now we're going to turn on. Oh. <laughs> okay. What do we do? All right, so do we need to turn that on? Oh, maybe we need to turn the inverter on. That would be it. There we go. We can turn that one back off now. There, now it lights up. Hey, 
Okay. And two orange dots means correct wiring. Woohoo! <laughs> light switch. Okay. And we have solar powered light bulb. Yoo <laughs> Oh, high five, baby. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> there we go. We did it. Turn it up. Turn it back on. Shouldn't be that much different, it's only 40 watt bulb. That's all we're running. Cool. We got hydro. We have solar. Free. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no more bills.